communism, Matt, would for a lot of people, for many Marxists, communism is the end goal of socialism. That socialism is the state owns the means of production, and Lenin said that this, this is a first stage, mm. and that eventually communism is the end stage where there's no classes. So the first stage is we have no owners and laborers because everything's owned through the state. But then by the end, we have no state, we have no bureaucrats, no, no citizens, we're all equal and there's no classes. Mm. Communism is the end goal, uh, but it, it's never been reached and, it, and it, never, it never can be. Yeah, it sounds really utopian because, it, I mean, in, in a way, it sounds kind of like a monastery or a convent operates, right? Have you ever had that kind yeah. of objection that, well, people choose to do that in like monasteries, they pull their wealth together as it were and rely on each other. And isn't that a beautiful thing? And so why shouldn't we be doing that as a country? Because when you apply the con when you apply the practices of a monastery to the world at large, how can you expect practices that work for adults of the same faith who voluntarily leave the world <laughs> to enter into promises that radically contradict the way the world exists? You're going to tell me that we should take those standards that live in radical departure from the world voluntarily among adults under a principle of faith and apply them to the world itself, that is never gonna work. I mean, for the same reason, it's never gonna work for the same reason that you don't apply the monastery's practice of celibacy to the world as a whole. It, it works great for monasteries, it would be the end of the human race. So that's the, that's the whole point that, yeah, you can have communal living uh, within this, these particular structures, uh, but even there, there are classes. It's not just, it's not everybody, even there in the monastery objection, that's not true communism because you have a hierarchical leadership. You have mm. an abbot, you have a mother superior uh, who then reports to other ecclesial officials and ordinaries. So it's not like everybody in the monastery just has equal say and communally uh, votes on things. So even there, the objection still breaks down. What? Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.